hello everyone welcome back so in last video what we did we uh, talked about describe block and eight block and we moved our test to the describe block or our test suite see so if we look here of course it doesn't make sense right i just copied it so maybe we can do a meaningful test even the first test here i wouldn't say it's a test uh, just going navigating to a website is really not a valid test so we'll expand on it but for our scenario here so one thing maybe we can do we are navigating to the website maybe we want to verify something right we are at the correct site so we want to verify some elements and that's a more proper test so i'm going to bring up the application so here we are we can verify the page title what is the page title basically if you look here app quarters and it says we provide a then some tax right so in order to get it when you right click here basically not inspect element since this is a slider let's scroll down a little bit so i need an empty area here click right click again now you see a view page source right so click here and here you see all these HTML right and here you can also verify the title of course there's a whole lot going here easy way to find something here to basically search so I can say control F and then I'm going to say title right so there should be one title and as you can see that it says app colors we provide a splendid one so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this so we want to verify that it contains the title right so i'm going to go back to my test here i'm going to say cypress has a command called sci.title and we can use the should so sci.title so second one here and after that open and closing parentheses then dot and we should have should here parentheses we can use include include exactly so it kind of shows us right how to use it include then quotation mark comma then another quotation mark then i can just paste what i copied from there so what i'm going to do basically save it and i should run our test Alright, so as you can see that we have two test cases and both of them passed, right? So it was able to verify the page title. So which is good. So I'm going to go back to our Visual Studio Code. So as you can see that I had to, I have provided the URL twice, right? So you might say, okay, why we need to do it? Uh, the reason because is that the nature of Cypress is that it runs asynchronously right and before i expand or you know write more test cases i want to explain to you guys a few things so i'm going to cover what is the difference between asynchronous and asynchronous code run and the behavior or nature of a cypress running asynchronously then we're going to look at cypress hooks basically we are doing some repetitive stuff here right so we are giving the url twice at this moment it might not look too bad because we only have two two test cases but if we have 10 20 30 test cases we really don't want to do this right so so cypress came up with cypress hook and again it is borrowed from mocha right so we're going to look into that then after that we're going to write some more test cases so i just talked about the asynchronous nature of cypress right and uh if you go to Cypress official website, right? Let me bring it up here. So understanding the asynchronous nature of Cypress, they explains it here. So basically they even uh, specify that, you know, it's one of the misunderstood concept, of course, for developers and also for test automation engineers. So what is synchronous versus asynchronous, right? So maybe it will be easy if we understand what is synchronous, then go back to asynchronous nature of Cypress. So as synchronous sounds, right? Uh, synchronous means the code runs in a particular sequence of instruction given in the program. So if we go back to my test cases, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to copy this, then I'm going to copy one more. So let's say we have four test cases right 
the synchronous means that it will run the first one then go to the second one the third one and fourth one and so on right of course there's advantage and disadvantage of that but i'm really not going to get into that for our understanding we just want to understand how cypress works right so this is synchronous goes by order you can say and asynchronous is pretty much opposite right so it doesn't run in order benefit of that is that the program can continue running so it doesn't have to wait for other code or other dependencies right so for example cypress the asynchronous nature of cypress cypress can actually basically start from here or then it can go from here or it can start from here so let's say if there is some kind of dependency or it doesn't actually have to depend on number four it can execute number one then go to three or vice versa right so that's the flexibility there so the concept is that the time consuming task is executed in the background while the rest of the code continues to execute so definitely there's benefit to it so for our understanding think it like synchronous runs in order right asynchronous doesn't run in order it can execute any test cases but that brings us a problem right because that means that all of our test cases need to be independent right so it should not depend on other test cases hope this makes sense but you can also look at their documentation uh, to understand more what is the nature of asynchronous and why cypress runs a particular way next i want to look at cypress hooks right so now we talked about if we go back to our test we have four test cases now definitely we we don't want to provide the url every test right for every test case we don't want to do it this is just repetitive it doesn't make sense so again um, at cypress uh, documentation so in this page i'm going to go down at the bottom somewhere that talks about cypress hooks right here so again uh, there mentions it here that it borrowed from mocha right uh, these are helpful to set conditions that you want to run before a setup test or before each test so basically we can use these different hooks so before meaning before test it this will do this particular action right and it is uh, explained here that root level hook runs once before all tests so basically it will run one time before a particular group of test or test suite and we can also use before each and before each is basically runs before every test block again it, it explains it here i'm just going over then we can also use after each same thing is runs after each test For our example, so I'm going to go back to my test cases. Since we're using this psi method four times, we can use a before, before hook. So basically it will run once and then it will execute all the test cases. As we write more test cases, I'll go over and we'll try out different hooks, like which one makes sense. So for right now, if we bring up our URL once, then it can execute all the test cases, right? So we have this, then we need to do our callback function. So callback function here. Now of course it comes with open and curly braces. And now we can bring this, cut it and then bring it here. And then I'm going to remove this. Since we have our URL here, we really don't need this test case. So we can delete this and then should navigate to home page i can rename it to something like since we are verifying the title i can say verify pay verify page title and uh, of course these are not valid tests so i'm going to delete them i'm going to do another test case so that way we can basically see how it works so we have page title. I just want to verify something real quick. Maybe another uh, test case I can do is if we go back to our page, the first thing we have is this logo, right? What it does when I click on it is basically ref uh, refreshes the page. 
and also we can uh, so we can verify that perhaps we can do something like it's visible and it's clickable something like this in order to do that we need to get the element right so there are multiple ways of doing it we can just do inspect so I'm going to select it select it and then click here so basically this is here right so this is basically the dome right so if you're not familiar with it yeah, we'll go over this in future but Cypress also has built-in feature where you can capture it so there is a class here like it says mkdf light logo so we can use it but what I want to show you the easiest thing is basically just since we have Cypress it can help us to capture that so Cypress has this awesome feature what we can use so if we look here so we have the runner open right so if you click right here it's hard to see maybe right here uh, my cursor next to the URL this circle thing grayed out click here so as you can see that it basically brings up the spy uh, right object so here I want to basically click app quarters so what I need to do I need to select it then click here so here I'm basically trying to capture and get the element ID right for some reason Cypress is acting up so if I click here so I'm going to deselect and then select again so I click here it's capturing the slider right as you can see so it's, gi it's giving me the um, elements and then I can also get content right so I'm going to deselect I'm going to come back here so I'm going to select again so if I click on home so it gives me the elements uh, selector here but I'm trying to get it for the logo so I'm going to deselect again uh, click somewhere it shouldn't be this difficult but some reason I'm not sure if it's, I just recently upgraded so maybe the new version of Chrome or whatever so it's not selecting for some reason so if I hover over here I'm able to get like part of it right here okay so I have to work with it uh, yeah so I can get all the elements except this one so this is a weird one so I'm gonna keep trying and then uh, go from there so finally I was able to capture the element so basically we can use the image right it's dot uh, CKY so I'm gonna bring it up here so what I'm going to do I'm basically going to write another test so I'm going to say I'm going to give some space here just for visibility right so I'm gonna start another eat block then name of our test so I'm going to say verify logo is visible and clickable in the header section okay we can say header we can say navigation it really doesn't matter then we need to basically give our callback function right open and curly braces now here we write our test so we can simply say sci dot get so I'll look more into this issue I wish I could have showed you guys basically we can just copy it from there right so if I bring up my browser let's say so we don't have to do all the hard work right Cypress does it for us uh, so so basically we can just copy from here and then just paste it there of course we don't want to copy the entire thing uh, this is very lengthy so that's the whole idea so here the element I was able to get was get so here we can use dot should and then we can say be visible we can also do not visible in scenarios where uh, we need to do that and then we can also say dot click why not click it make sure it works and then uh, we do this looks good to me I'm going to save it and watch our test run all right so our test failed so if we look at it here is saying it timed out basically it's expecting to see if it's visible but it's not visible so let's go back I think I know what it is so here earlier I was explaining uh, that we can use before hook right so what it did basically it opened up because we saw that the first test passed then it failed right here right so it ran and it failed on the second test in our scenario uh, what you can do we can also do before each so if we save it now it's rerunning the test
so now it passed right both our tests passed so what i was i was explaining earlier about the synchronous nature of cypress right since it's synchronous we don't know which one is running first right so this is where these hooks comes in so here you go we'll look more into it in details all right so that's it for this video we'll continue from here in the next video so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe click the like button hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when i upload new videos also this helps me with the youtube algorithm so i can create more content like this happy learning